Alex has arrived with his camera gear. I've also heard a Lamborghini Aventador. I can almost bet my life on that is a white Lamborghini Aventador SV Roadster. I haven't seen Aleem in about 12 months, but I can hear him right now. He's been driving around London for like the last nine to 12 months, and I've never seen him. Never even had the chance of catching up. But today, Aleem is back on the supercars of London, and fingers crossed we can go for a bit of a blast around central London, try and find some supercars in his Aventador SV Roadster. And I think I've broken the... So I haven't even I haven't even seen this car. I've never heard it. I mean, the amount of pictures I've seen on Instagram is crazy. Um, but every time I'm in London, which is actually pretty rare, and now that you live here, like yeah. literally, I saw you more when you lived in Birmingham than you now that you live so in London. True, that is so true. Um, Paul's been a busy bee. <laughs> well, so have you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so today I'm going to jump in a passenger of this car. Aline needs fuel, and we're going to go for a bit of a blast and try and hunt some supercars down. How are you going? That does look smart, doesn't it? Check it out. Blends in. <laughs> right, we're ready to go. Oh, it is loud. And oh, in the morning, when it goes from, you've warmed it up after two and a half, three minutes, you put it from strata to sport. The first acceleration you do, you will make up the city. You will definitely, everyone's waking up. <laughs> it's like, yeah! <laughs> Got basically no rain showing. Holy crap. It's not popping and cracking as much right now. No, it's not gonna do it. Do we have some more fuel? It still crackles a lot for an event. No, not enough. Not enough? Watch. It all, all down part lane is gonna pop and crackle. <laughs> Great driving Audi. <laughs> Did you see my Lambo? No. I never got to see your Lambo. You I know. You were, I swear to God, that car spent more time in France than it did in the, <laughs> yeah. in the UK, didn't it? Yeah. And then, yeah, now the AMG GTS. Sad that I don't have it, it's up at Dub Customs. Uh, but it doesn't matter. You're changing the wrap on it. Changing the wrap. Uh, what about um, what about the purple? The deep purple. What about purple? People have rendered purple. People have photoshopped purple. It looks pretty damn good. It looks pretty damn now, listen, good. What about for the heck of it? I know everyone jokes about it. Why don't you wrap your car pink? <laughs> but let's do it. Pink. <laughs> you <laughs> said. Do you remember when you said pink on the RA? Do it, do it bro. Like people probably thinking right now. He's I thought not I could. I thought I could have a sensible conversation about wrap colours with you. And you've come out of pink. Hey, listen. <laughs> nah, come on. You know, it's you, you know, you're the man. You, some of the some of the most manliest men pulled off pink, didn't they? True. You know. Oh, four eight eight over there. Black four eight eight. What on the other side? Yeah. How did you spot that? Eyes of a hawk. There's a white SV there and there. How, how does it feel? It's ridiculous. Uncomfortable? No, I'm not uncomfortable any. Not yet. yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> I've already said that I will pay someone. Uh, the first person to do, I will contribute towards the whoever does the gumball in an SV with these seats. I will contribute five grand towards their rally. <laughs> I want to see. Can I take this car? Would take... you do it? <laughs> yeah. I want to. Oh, you would though. <laughs> 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 Would you not do it in this car then, the Gumball Rally? Hell no. <laughs> if it's not a Rolls Royce Dawn, <laughs> if it's not a Rolls Royce or a... Nah, couldn't. There. <laughs> You'll get it now. Wait, oh no. Come on, don't let me down, baby. Nah, she's not doing it. <laughs> Telling me about these crackles. 
Yeah. No, see, why do why do things always happen when everyone when everyone's watching? Nothing ever happens, yeah. does it? It's exactly the same. Exactly the same. I think what we've got to do is we've got to build it. We've got to warm the car up. up. It's like a car won't sing. Like a, a an artist won't sing before it warms up his voice. He has to, point, yeah. has to go live. So I know where you're going with that. <laughs> it's like Adele. Getting there. Adele of the supercar world. Paul, I'm not gonna lie, it's letting me down, bro. <laughs> that was my phone. <laughs> Maybe that's where your wallet is. You know, obviously, like looking at that, you think, "Oh, what?" I know what that car is capable of. That is capable of putting this to shame. Bro. I love that car. Road and back. <laughs> no, you're driving it all the way to wherever you want to get dropped off. Get it to the hotel. Which hotel? Uh, Van Pye, Sloan Street. I kind of driven. I've driven a couple of these before, so shouldn't be too difficult. Am I good to go? Yep. Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> See if I can get some crackles. Go on. Paul, you don't. I don't have Bluetooth. I don't have. Uh, I have a CD player. And it's, uh, it's got no Bluetooth. No Bluetooth. How are we gonna play Bieber? We don't. <laughs> I think the speakers are, are better on my dad's Skoda. <laughs> Where is it? The weather's in a little grey. But nevertheless, out? Paul's out to play. Woo! <laughs> Bars. I wish they could change the colour of the dial as well so you can make it red, yellow. Well, this bit here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't know where I'll drop myself off. Oh, traffic. Horrible. Yeah, I'll, I'll turn right up here and then come back down and drop myself okay, off. Okay. So I've come to meet up with Aleem so that Aleem can show me the size of London in the events of RSV and he's got tired. Yeah. <laughs> we are like, Paul, be honest though, just so like people don't think that I'm just complaining and moaning for no reason. Yeah. Like they look super cool, these seats, but aren't they seriously uncomfortable? <laughs> yeah. You look, look where your shoulders are. Like that, it just forces you to, to yeah. go into a hunchback position. I did, I did, I did complain that my back was hurting. But then again, the, you can, it can be argued like this car is made for the track, though, isn't it? Yeah. I it's, mean, uh, <laughs> driving this around not, London. It's, it's not made for <laughs> central London. Yellow car, no returns. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, as well, yeah. 
We should probably make a disclaimer that because I'm 25, yeah. I can drive this yeah, car yeah, legally. Yeah, of course, of course, of course, of course. Elite messenger just going to drive my car. No, no, my policy's here right now. Yeah. And that's why I asked you first. I said, Paul, how old are you now? And he said, 25. I said, okay. But now they're going to be asking, but well, Liam, what about you? You're only 22. Well, I am. Special exceptions. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well, that. That's pretty ridiculous. Did you enjoy that, Paul? Yes. Before we have eggs thrown at us from all the residents, we should put this into Strada. Quiet. And uh, park. There we are. Well, there we are. That's Paul Wallace for you, ladies and gentlemen. The man that only drives SV Lambos. <laughs> the rest. <laughs>